guys, so I just wrapped a call with Sephora. We went the four team just to kind of um, basically give us um, tips on how to just make this collaboration successful. Um, so just like little pointer. So I was here taking notes. They gave us these um, notebooks at the the welcome thing in LA. This is such a great planner. I love how it's like formatted. Like if I were to, was to create my own planner, which I will, I may not sell it, but I wanted to make a planner that's just unique to me and perfect for me because there's not one planner right now on, on the market that I love everything about. I also just wanna say a huge thanks to Homery for gifting me these items for my dining room. I'm so excited for you guys to see them. I am completely obsessed. The furniture quality, the items that I picked out, I think it looks really, really good. I've been searching for weeks for the perfect dining room setup, and I did go back and forth a lot with what I wanted to do, but I eventually decided on these items. So Homery offers really high quality furniture pieces and you can honestly find something for every single design style is there out there. If you're into Scandinavian, farmhouse, modern, kind of like forgetting the other styles, but they have something for literally everyone. So you'll be able to find something for your taste. And not only are you guys getting quality furniture, the prices are also really, really good for the look and the quality of this item. It should be priced way higher. So I have the Japandi 39 inch to 55 inch extendable whitewashed dining table. It's a six seater and it's a oval and round pedestal style, which I love that it can be really, really small if I wanted to and have like two seats. And I can also extend it when we have guests. And I also love that when it's open. This table is sleek, the design is very minimal, and it's just perfect for me. It's literally so perfect. I also decided to pair it with the modern black dining chairs, and this actually comes in a set of two, so it's a really good deal. And it's like a faux leather upholstered look with the metal frame. I will be adding more to this room as time goes on, like a side we call those like a side thingy, a buffet, sideboard. Um, obviously some pictures on the wall. And um, yeah, we're definitely going to, to be adding things as the weeks go by. But for now, really had to share this table with you guys. So I use thanks again to Homery for gifting this to me. I will have all my links below if you wanted to check them out or shop anything. They will all be linked down below. I also picked out two scones and that I really thought was gonna look good in the house. I love how sleek it was and just so minimal. And it's also like a modern touch as well. What you think about this idea? So one would be here and obviously the other would be over here. I wish there was a way for us to attach them um, um, temporarily so we could kind of get a feel but I really like these. Okay, we're now in the kitchen, which is looking pretty just white right now, just very, very white. But once the backsplash is in, it's gonna really add a little bit of warmth. And I'm so excited for that to be installed. I wanna share with you guys some appliances that I recently picked out. The appliances, just like some kitchen gadgets. I'm starting, like everything's starting to roll in now, slowly but surely. And I am just, like excited about everything. So the first thing I got was a Smeg pedal. Um, if you guys know me, you know Smeg is like my dream kitchen appliance brand. I, if I could get everything from Smeg, I would. I only just have need for a kettle though, so that's why I only have this, but isn't it so adorable, you guys? I love it so much. I, I was really contemplating what color to get, but ultimately decided to go with the cream. I really thought the silver and the cream would be the best bet. Just Next up, I also got some cutting boards and I just got a set of three. I really wanted to share this with you guys because I felt like the tone of wood is just so expensive looking. Next up, I got this Cuisine Art um, knife set in this really cool like block thing. I've been eyeing this on my Amazon storefront for you don't even know how long. One thing that really prevented me from buying it at the apartment though was because I would really wanna sit this on my counter and in the apartment, you guys know I barely have any countertop space. So. so I really love this and I just have like a ton of knives, you guys. And they're so sharp and I haven't even like sharpened the blade yet, but you obviously have like these ones and 
The blades are really, really nice. I think I shot a unboxing of these, so I will include it. Chef's kiss, like everything's coming together nicely. Okay, the next thing that I got is actually a coffee machine from Nespresso. We have a Keurig here, which I could not wait to get rid of. I am a Nespresso girl. Keurig and me is just, I don't know what it is about a Keurig. I just cannot get into it. <laughs> How big this box is. Okay, so from Nespresso, I got a couple things, just a bunch of um, like pods and everything. But let me just get in here first. And if you guys can not already tell how excited I am, this is actually a little gift set. They always give you a bunch of samples when you order from Nespresso. Um, so I think this is what this is. Because usually I don't order all the colorful pods. I kind of stick to the shades that I like, just for aesthetic purposes. This AC is literally on blast right now. All right, so what's different about this machine and mine is that the trash area is to the side which is lovely on the buttons at the top of course oh wow okay i don't really like how it jumps up like that though if i'm being honest or maybe i'm just being rough hmm. and for the pods i got a few different flavors this is the Golden Caramel, the Bianco Fort, or Forte. Not really sure how you pronounce it, but we also got the Sweet Vanilla. This was also new, never tried this, but I'm excited to, it seems tasty. And then the other flavor we got is just a Double Espresso Dolce, or dol dol Dolce. Today is Wednesday or Thursday, one of them, but um, the day's already started. It's late in the afternoon now. I forgot about this vlog, if I am being honest. I meant to show you guys like all the um, like additions that we've kind of like added, because this is supposed to be a home decor haul, but either way, like today, I so far for the day, I went to Orange Theory for a quick workout. I've been pretty consistent with my workouts. I'm really excited and proud of myself for that. Can you guys hear that? The rain just started. I'm about to take a nap. I love to sleep during the rain, but yeah, this morning went to Orange Theory for a quick workout, which is why I'm wearing my headband unit here. I like to wear this for like sports stuff because you know, it's old, so why, why not? And um, yeah, um, I'm gonna show you guys, finish up sharing with you guys like home decor things though, because we will be in Jersey, like moving out of the apartment like this weekend. So I won't be here. And I kind of just don't want to forget about like the home things if you guys are interested in that of course speaking of jersey while i'm there i figured i would do a little um maybe like a little street style photo shoot you guys know how much i love those so i ordered some things from dish um everything that i am showing you guys here was on sale which is i mean pat on the back yay for me um so i got like this set um I'm not gonna try anything on in this video, um, but I'm gonna show, share with you like what this looks like. So let me move this. So I'm gonna put a picture of the model on the screen in this set. So I got this, I thought it was like the perfect summer look. I think it's gonna suit me really well. Because it was on sale though, I wasn't able to get my size in a lot of things. I was able to find my size in the shorts, but not the top. This one's like <laughs> two sizes too big, but I'm gonna bring it to the tailor to get, um, you know, altered. So no problems there. And I also got this um, like two piece like linen set, but it's not really a set. I bought them separate, but it's a really cool like top with some linen pants, you know, simple, simple. 
And then I got this dress, which is so different for me, but I really love the print. I thought it was so like chic and it's gonna look so good with like a Polen bag, my Hermes sandals. Like there's so many ways to style this. So I thought this was a really good find and it would just look nice. I really love black and white during the, the summer, but I love that they use like a off white shade. So it's not as like dramatic. So yeah, so yeah, it's raining cats and dog outside. It's been so hot um, since the day started, so I knew rain was somewhere in the horizon because it was so hot. Um, but yeah, I got some Amazon, some things from Amazon, nothing major. I just ordered another um, spray for my wig. Um, I did not notice the size though when I ordered this. So I feel like I can't even bring this in my carry-on. I don't like traveling and checking bags. I I hate checking bags, you guys. I don't know. I just wanna get off the plane, get in a car, and go home. Like, I don't like standing up at baggage claim. I wait for the bag. I don't like it. So I really try to avoid checking bags, but I might need to. Or I think I might be able to... I don't know how long I'm gonna be in Jersey. That's the thing. I don't wanna go up there and I have to order another spray. It's not really a big deal, but these are like $14. Yeah, I will um, check in with you guys later. I'm just gonna hang out here, try to straighten up before my departure. Okay, <laughs> I will check in with you guys tomorrow or honestly, you might see me when I'm back in the apartment. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be shooting in these. I'm gonna try them on, style them, and then see if I can find a photographer to shoot. Guys, it is currently 10.51 p.m. <laughs> my flight home was at three, okay? It does not take six hours. Wait, how long has it been? Three, oh wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, okay. It does not take eight hours to get from Georgia to New Jersey. It's, it's like an hour and 40 minute flight, but my flight's been so delayed. I just got here. I'm so annoyed. You have no idea. Also, my hair looks nuts right now. I look crazy. Um, I'm wearing that same. Ralph Lauren shirt, like, oh. I bought more, I bought more, in case you're tired of seeing it. I bought a yellow one and a pinkish color, just so I can have more, because I, I, I'm noticing that this is like my uniform lately, just a Ralph Lauren shirt with just shorts and my trusty Luna Pianas that I literally wear so often. Um, but it's okay, I've wanted these shoes for so long, so I knew I was gonna wear them a lot. Waiting on my bag. Oh yeah, forgot to tell you that part. The bags are delayed. So not only um, was the flight delayed by like four hours um, as we were um, deplating, they go, sorry, like the, something's up with the bag carriage. So 35 minutes delay on that too. Lot. <laughs> Like, I'm going back to my apartment, which I'm I'm moving this month for sure. And um, I don't know, I just did not really have a great experience living at my apartment for like a ton of reasons. So going back there is kind of like triggering to my anxiety and my stress. No update on the bags yet, but yeah. Anyways, I will keep you guys updated. I'll come back once I am. Is this even recording? Oh, <laughs> that would have been funny. Okay, I'm gonna come back once there's an update here. Um, I don't wanna be on camera with bad energy, but hopefully I get in tonight and I can get something to eat because I'm just, I'm not even know if I have soup and like two pace on them stuff today. It's been like a month since I've left to be honest. I landed 30 minutes ago and was told that our bags are about an hour behind because of some issue with the carriage. I have no idea. I'm always so afraid of like, coming home to my apartment after I've been gone for a while. So scary. Hello? <laughs> home <laughs> things are pretty much the same as I left them um 
just, you know, the norms. I actually sold my bedroom light before I left, so um, there's no light in here. Okay, everything is where I left it. I am so tired, you guys. I'm gonna leave you right here. I'm just gonna eat and shower and go to bed. I, I am on E right now. I am on E. I have nothing left <laughs> in the tank. Um, yeah, I basically ordered a bunch of foolishness. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I don't know, just got chicken. So this is chicken, I wanna say Karaj. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'll put the name on the screen. Seems like little fried chicken nuggets. And then this is another chicken dish. But I saw that it had some vegetables, so I was like, I may as well Let's get that. And this also has rice. I'm not buying groceries while I'm here, so I just got two things because I knew for a fact I won't be cooking tomorrow at all. This one came with a little side of something. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna get some spice. I'm gonna spice this is, but it's so hot. This is the seasoning. If you love pepper, you guys, you need this. But let's see. First bite is yours. It's so tough. Oh, by the way, this is from Ani Ramen. You're in Jersey, you probably know about them. They have mm, okay ramen. There's soy chicken, let's see how this tastes. This is a lot softer, but you know them weird? Like whenever people don't wash their meat, I can taste it. Everyone thinks I'm crazy for that, but I can. I'm not. I'm not even like exaggerating. Yeah. I'm just gonna eat another piece and just chuck this water. I'll be okay. It's it's like. Is it really 1:30? That's crazy. It's 1:30. So by the time I bathe and relax myself, it should be like. four o'clock i'll just i'll sleep in tomorrow for sure um and i'll just go grab a break um like a really good breakfast or something oh i needed that water i was so thirsty